Brian Kelly with his Tuesday press conference talking about Notre Dame versus Syracuse this weekend. And Tim, you know, many times he'll spend a couple minutes talking about the opponent and it comes off as being uh, disingenuous yeah. a little bit. It didn't today. I mean, he knows that, that Syracuse is a good football team on a lot of fronts and they have to be prepared for a real battle this weekend. Yeah, that was certainly his longest lead in to an opponent. And that's because he had a lot to say about their strengths. Um, it's, you know, I find it interesting too that you just never would have thought coming into this season that boy this is going to be the second best team they play in the second biggest situation or now I mean they're, all, they're tied with Michigan for the biggest situation now and I think he just wants to hammer that point home and I'm sure he's really started his week off by pointing out probably very thankful they're ranked number 12 so it's easier that this is the best offense you have faced all season. Yeah, and they can do some things defensively, too, with their pass rush and their third down conversion defense. But it was almost – it was a, a, a bit of a foregone conclusion, I guess, that Ian Book would be ready to play. And when he was finally asked about Ian Book, and he pretty much put it to rest. Book uh, conditioned and lifted and threw the football on Monday. They don't actually have practice on Monday, at least not in this current format. Uh, but he fully expects him to play this weekend. And quite frankly, that's really, really good news for – Notre Dame's offense against an opponent where you're probably going to have to score a bunch of points. Yeah, they're going to need plenty of points. My concern with Book is, I mean, he can look great all week, and Notre Dame's not allowed to hit him. We mentioned this in the podcast. Syracuse can. It's a rib injury. They'll protect it. But he, you know, Ian Book, I don't want to use the word reckless, but he is such a aggressive player. He does need his ability to run. That, mm-hmm. that is part of what makes him as good as he is. Um, but when Ian Book's healthy, they roll out of bed with 30 points. If Ian Book's healthy, you start with 30 points, and you wonder where you go from there. And, and I think you're going to need that against Syracuse doesn't mean you need to score 40 points to beat Syracuse but you certainly want some distance between them you don't want to turn it into a last possession game yeah if if you follow Irish Illustrated on Twitter you know you you saw the tweet this morning in which uh, um, you know we indicated how many big plays that Syracuse has given up and so Notre Dame a much more likely candidate with Ian Book in the lineup Brian Kelly talked about the progress of the offensive line clearly that was their best performance against the best defense uh, at least the rush defense that they had faced in in Florida State, and high praise for uh, a, a couple people, including Elze Mack. He had, we talked about it. he had a great day, and it's really just it's good to see him go from completely. You wondered if he was going to be one of the guys that didn't come back after last season because when you're suspended for the bowl game, I think a lot of people forget about that. He was suspended for for conduct basically. He's emerged as a player that they want on the field. I mean, they, they use three tight ends, but if L.O.S. Mack is healthy, he's the one that's out there the most. He's, he's become a blocker. He takes pride in it, and we're going to talk to him Wednesday. And I know he's probably looking forward to this conversation uh, Wednesday with the media a lot more than he has any of the other times he's had to come out here where he always gets the questions about his past and such, stuff like that. I think he's moved past that now, and he really had a great final home game uh, at Notre Dame Stadium. No doubt. And, and L.O.S. Mack, um, uh, Brian Kelly said that he doesn't use the word frustrated. He doesn't get frustrated with players anymore, and he uses the word yes a lot as in he hasn't merged yet but he will Um, so good to see that and and coming at the right time and Elze Mack is a force as a blocker as well pretty much put the whole Yankee Stadium not being at Notre Dame Stadium behind him said that he did that months ago and so Notre Dame heads to Yankee Stadium this weekend to play a a quality football team one that uh, can can give up some yards and some points certainly but uh, one that Notre Dame's going to have to be prepared to to, to stop offensively. We'll be back um, later in the week uh, and from Yankee Stadium when Notre Dame takes on Syracuse.